Hi everyone and welcome in another episode of my Photoshop Explained series where you can learn Photoshop from very beginning step by step till you get advanced level in your Photoshop skills. My name is Marcin and I will be your Photoshop teacher during this series. In this episode we're going to talk about starting new project, about opening new project. So after you familiarize yourself with interface of Photoshop where we were talking in previous episodes you can check them out right now so after you familiarize yourself with interface you're ready to start new project go to file and choose new and if it's your first time in Photoshop you are probably not sure what all these numbers means of course at the top we have name it's not very complicated we can set our own name project I call my pro um, my project my project and it's not really important because after you finish your work and when you go into save your work you can change the name of your work so it's pretty much for you a little bit down we have presets and that's a little bit more important work by presets custom means we can set all the settings on our own as you can see I can change my settings whatever I want my project looks like and usually I use um, pixels uh, to do this I'm not using centimeters of course pixels are, mar are much more common but if you're working for something specific let's say you do in web design Photoshop prepares something for you you have ready presets over here I can choose web and as you can see the settings are actually changed right now for the web design if you are working on something you want to print you can change your setting into US paper or let's say international paper and your settings once again unchanged the size is a4 as you can see and we have millimeters over here let me change it into custom once again I'm going to set 1000 let's say for now so what does it actually mean of course I don't have to explain the first two it's our pixels the size of our image how width and height it is it but what is actually the resolution this resolution is number of pixels per every inch of our project so let me show you an example when we work in for web design when we work in for our online work when you're doing online work for something which going to be shown on the web it's even in the presets the resolution is 72 pixels per inch of course it's up to you how much you put it shouldn't be less than 72 but there is no need to add more than 72 pixels per inch for your web work however when you go into print your work so when you let's say doing posters for something to print the resolution should be a bit higher the resolution should be 300 pixels per inch so it means once again how many dots is per every inch of our work so in this case when we're going to print something there is 300 pixels per inch so let me go back to custom and set the size on my own going to change it to pixels and there is no need for resolution 300 for me so I'm going to put just 72 if you want to know uh, a bit more about this resolution I recommend you to read a little bit more just google it because it's not really important usually you, you you won't need more than 300 and when you are not doing really huge jobs you don't uh, need more than 72 it's not really important we can change this anytime but if you want to know something more I recommend you to read about this color mod is RGB color so the mod we use the most in Photoshop and here is some options how many bits of your project you want usually it's 8 bit most of the pictures are 8 bit so keep it on 8 bit background contents in the color of your background you can choose white 
we can choose background color which in this case would be white again transparent or any other color you want after we set all of this we are ready to start our project just press ok and as you can see here is our project that's just white background we can put any picture on this we can paint on this background it depends what we're going to do if you want to see the size of your image of course you can click image and go to image size and change the size of your image anytime you want to change resolution you can do this but i won't recommend you to change the size during your work because it won't change anything so here you go in this episode you learn how to open new project and in another episode step by step i'm going to explain you every part of photoshop importing images and then working and doing real work in photoshop thank you very much for watching and see you soon in another episode of photoshop explained